Welcome back to Let's Play Dust, I'm Nye, and we are still in the Sorrowing Meadows, still fighting, uh, whatever these things are. You know what, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna jump over and go up. So this is a, uh, dead end, so we're only up here for the treasure that can be found here. But there is a save point, and I find that, uh, incredibly important right now. Oh, this is also, oh, apparently this is also where one of the mansions are. Apparently I'm lying to you guys. But I feel like going all the way to the left uh, to pick up this chest first. It might have some something I'm interested in. Uh, and it does. Uh, it has the, come on, load up for me, the Wicked, uh, which is actually a significant upgrade for our weapon. Um, I, again, do not have the uh, insect eyes, so we're going to have to go and farm those up. Uh, I'm actually... I'm kind of tempted to just ignore the flesh sheath now, now that we have that, uh, because that's going to cost me a little bit to upgrade. I'm not quite sure. I'm going to decide on that a little bit later. Uh, mostly because I do not have those eyes. So we got ourselves another note in the Dorimo Mansion, Servant's Note 2. Uh, there was a terrible din coming from the neighbor's estate this morning when I looked out to see uh, the high window to see what was amiss. I saw that same officer out there. His soldiers were dragging our neighbors away, yelling something about Moonblood sympathizers. When I told Master Kane, he offered me an extra week of pay, never to talk about it again. Speaking of Master Kane, he has decided that he wants to interrupt our exploring of a mansion again. So same rules as last time, stay away, cannot fight him, yada yada yada, just keep moving, yada yada, oh crap. Uh, you're actually supposed to be able to make that jump, and uh, I was not paying that much attention to it. Uh, I kind of want these chickens. He doesn't seem particularly keen on actually hurting us right now, and then there he wants to uh, interrupt me. Now the one thing I really love about these uh, running away from Kane uh, events is the uh, visual thing that goes on. The whole, it goes to black and white and jerks and pulses to show this is kind of an otherworldly encounter. Uh, very cool stuff. Kane, go away. I do not wish to play with you today. That's fine. We'll just keep on running and uh, hopefully we will stay a hell, a hell away from him. I wish to... Nope. I wish to have these chickens. Man, I'm so glad these walls have holes in them, otherwise I'd be in big trouble right now. Keep on running. And we are here. We have got ourselves the walking cane. And there is a key up there uh, that I completely forget uh, how we're supposed to get. Uh, let me see. I remember uh, struggling with this key once upon a time. I know you can barely see it. It's that, if you can see that glint right there, uh, that is the, uh, that is the key right there. Okay, how am I supposed to do this? If I remember correctly, uh, why, 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 why? Whoa, <clears throat> that was not pleasant. Uh, not a pleasant realization to realize what was standing right next to me. Let's see if we can get rid of this necromancer. What I want to try to do <clears throat> is to uh, do a. Um, I want to try to do a aerial dust storm over some enemies. See if I can get some lift going on and get me into that next room. Because I think that might have something to do uh, with how I do that. Death. My other revival stone used. Uh, these guys are just hitting me while I'm dust storming up uh, to kill that necromancer, which is not fun. That said, hopefully this necromancer is going to help me get that spectral gear and up my armor a little bit. The problem is, as soon as I walk back through this door, as soon as I walk back into this room, uh, I'm gonna have another ne necromancer to deal with. Yeah, that didn't work. 
not sure how worth it that was. There is just nothing in here. I'm trying to remember how you get that key. We have to come back to this later. And as I said, uh, Necromancer has returned. Uh, so I do get to deal with this again. The good part of this is that I'm going to get another Necromancer Soul, which is, you know, used to uh, make that armor that I want. So there is some good news. Not a lot of good news, though. I'm still taking a lot of damage. Uh, let's do the Champong. That gives me an attack up, which hopefully will mean uh, these guys last a little bit uh, less time. Detonate that guy. Got some sort of blueprint. Not sure what that was. Detective's overcoat. Let's see uh, where that falls. So not as good as the Spectral Vest, but better than the Trolk Jacket. Uh, that I can actually make. I'm kind of tempted, but I'm only uh, two souls off the Spectral Vest, so I think we're just going to hold out. Okay, what did I get that time? Which ring is that? Oh, that's the blueprint for the Pendant of the Saint, which I believe I'm already using. Yeah, I'm already using that. So we're not going to be building that up for obvious reasons. Still trying to remember how you get that key. Or, yeah, that key. It's not common to me at the moment. There's treasure in this room. There is another Necromancer, too. But that's fine. Uh, this should be the last Necromancer Soul I need uh, to make a uh, Spectral Vest, which will skyrocket our armor. So I am pretty okay with that. Let's uh, move over to the left a little bit. Because I felt a little bit trapped in there. Okay, come on, guy die already. You don't belong in this world. Okay, there goes him. What I did see was a drop. Darn, I don't think there was a drop from him, uh, which meant that that was kind of wasted. Nope, there it is. Awesome. And get our Spectral Vest, which increases our defense by a lot. Now I can start working on the Wicked. Uh, unfortunately, again, do not have the... Uh, <clears throat> do not have that resource. Do not have that little eyeball that I need. But I'm sure we can find one. Given a little bit of work. So is there anything over here? So I'm still missing that one item. So we need to find that. It's probably floating around here somewhere. sound like a particularly pleasant sound coming from... Ah, there's the key. Ah, it's one of these things. <clears throat> and that was the sound it was making. It was it doing its uh, little jump. Ooh, this could end badly, guys. Okay, there we go. Now I have it in the corner, and I can just proceed to rip it to pieces. Good. It did cost me two... Uh, buff, uh, um, soups, so, you know, there's always that. Apparently there is another item in this room. Ah, right. There's a treasure chest. What does this one contain? I see a blueprint. Another pendant of the same blueprint that I can't use. Kind of a waste. Uh, actually skip these guys so I want to make sure to get to that save point. There we go. Okay guys, well, that's it for now. Uh, we got our second item, only two mansions to go. I will see you guys soon.